Everybody. I want to tell you that you're looking at a miracle here because if he would have called me just a few years ago, I would have said, sorry, you have the wrong number, please. I have never been a public speaker. Uh, this is my first public speaking engagement other than in a church. But I'm so excited to be here. Um, I have a lot to share with you. And I wanted to say that you, as artists, are poised to earn a lot of money from your intellectual property, whatever that may be. If you're an artist, a photographer, oil painter, or whatever, uh, the sky's the limit. And I'm going to share some things with you that will hopefully motivate you and encourage you uh, to press on. I had to educate myself to do what I've done. And I want to encourage you to educate yourself too. Um, a college degree only tells your employer that you are smart enough to learn to conquer a learning curve. And at my advanced age, learning curves are getting harder and harder to, to conquer and overcome. But I want to say that educate yourself. Uh, I bought many, many, many books on publishing, mail order, and so on and so forth. Buy DVDs, CDs on your area of interest and study diligently. Um, if you have what I'll call a mindset that is holding you back, just press through and overcome that. I had such a negative impression and, and uh, negative value system that I held myself back. I was my own biggest enemy. But as I pressed through and as I learned and as doors opened for me, uh, I went from one level to another level to a higher level, learning more and experiencing more through my, uh, through my years. So I'm here to give you hope for a prosperous future. If you have a pen and paper, if you could write down my, uh, this website here. Uh, my son and I worked on this yesterday. We created a website for you. This is all resources for you, um, books, and I will be putting more on it in the, uh, in the days to come. And anybody can email me at neil at cypresscovepublishing.com. I'd like to uh, talk to you today about how to start a publishing business like I did from your kitchen table on a shoestring budget. My history in publishing, this will be part one. In 1977, I acquired the rights to this little report called How to Run Faster. It was written by a friend of a friend we tried out for the Olympics and in running, and he took topics and, and things that he knew about that he wanted to share. And so I acquired the rights to this short report. I placed ads in Boys Life magazine and sports magazines. I sold it for two dollars, 
and I got addicted to getting money in my mailbox. So this is what started me on my career, so to speak. Next, in 1980, I wrote a book about the last days. It's all the scriptures you need to know about the last days, the study guide of end time scriptures. Uh, I worked on that for about a year. I typeset it myself. Uh, no, actually, we typed it out, and then we sent it to a printer, and they printed um, the copies for me. I, that was in 1980. I ran a display ad. You know what a display ad is. It was about one inch high and about a column width, which was about two, two and a half inches. So I ran a display ad in, um, in a Christian magazine, and I sold 500 copies at $1.95, plus 50 cents shipping and handling from the magazine ad. I got experience in the mail order way of doing business, where you get the money in your mailbox and you mail out the book. Plus, I sold some books in Christian bookstores. My goal and desire after that was to get a job with the post office. I tried three years to get hired. I took many postal exams. I went through the letter sorting machine training, but thankfully I failed. That is a story in itself. Um, I was dejected and depressed because I failed because here's a $10 an hour job back in 1977 or 1980, whatever it was. That was a big deal. To, to make ten dollars an hour, but I didn't. Uh, I didn't get the job. So uh, I, at that time, I got hired by the city of Lafayette as a mail clerk, delivering mail to all of the city agencies: fire, police, Cajun Dome, and, and so on. So I had a stress-free job, and I can now plan my next move. So I had the freedom. I wasn't con con uh, worried and, and, you know, turned inside out because of, of no money. I had a job. I had money coming in. I could feed my kids. So my next move uh, was, was to come. President Reagan had fired the air traffic controllers in 1981. So I found a need and I filled it. There's an old saying, if you can find a need and fill it, Okay, you, you, you can do something. So I started Career Preparation Center uh, in, I think it was 1987 or 88, and I sold an air traffic controller home study course in 1988. Some people put together this course on um, how to prepare from home to be an air traffic controller. So I thought this would be a good uh, start to do what I wanted to accomplish. So I found out what city my competitor would run his ad. This was a big company who had mega bucks to spend on advertising. And so when I went to the looked through the classified ads in the paper, I would always see their ad. So so I found out what city he would be running his ad in and I would run mine next to his. This is an ad that appeared that I wrote and designed and it appeared in the Federal Jobs Digest. And I coded my ads because right here it says PO Box such and such dash FJD, which stands for Federal Jobs Digest. That way when the money and the, or the inquiries came in with that code, I knew that they saw it in the Federal Jobs Digest and I could chart where my money and was coming from, what ads were paying off. This is a short sales letter, it's a short four page sales letter that I prepared saying, Dear Future Air Traffic Controller, and then I went on from there. And so the whole point of this was to sell the uh, home study guides. And so I sold I don't know, maybe a hundred or so. I took the money that I made from the air traffic controller sales to print my first post office booklet and I sold it for five dollars. This is the first one here. 
little eight and a half by five and a half book printed on regular copy paper. But in the inside of the book, lo and behold, I found another home study course to sell. And this was uh, a home study course on uh, how to get a job at the post office. <laughs> and so these, uh, these courses sold for uh, 50 bucks. So I had different uh, types of jobs, mail handler, rural carrier, and so on and so forth. So the purpose of the book was to not only make $5 from the sale of the book, but to make some back-end sales from the home study courses. And it worked, it worked out pretty good. So eventually I wrote nine, nine different books here on different topics on how to get hired by the post office. Uh, I placed ads in military magazines because when a guy, at that time we had military bases around the world. And I would place ads in, say, <coughs> Air Force Times, Army Times. And when these military guys, would, would, when they knew they only had six months left in their gig, you know, to run, to, to stay in the, in the service, they'd start looking for a job. What am I going to do when I get out? And they would see my ad. And they would write to me, because in the ad I offered a free report, which included a sales letter, a brochure, um, and an envelope to return uh, and, and, you know, their information back to me. So uh, I got there, plus I, had a, I hired a, uh, an answering uh, a telephone answering company to take calls from around the world. And so they would write to me from that classified ad. I would take the money. Uh, I would take their name, type it into the computer. I had a friend of mine design a, a database to handle all of the inquiries. And so I would send out my email, uh, my, uh, my mail the responses and sales letter to them. Then I would get money back from them selling this set of books. <coughs> then. Um, these are the these are the nine books right here. Later, I bought out my competitor who lived in Florida for two thousand dollars. I merged his two or three books that he had. I merged them with my booklets to create one big book, eight and a half by eleven, one hundred and seventy pages. Sold that for twenty dollars plus three dollars per.